Hey, Seth David here with the world-famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how to use checkboxes in Google Sheets specifically to toggle numbers in or out of a particular calculation. Let me show you my screen. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So the first step is how to simply how to insert a checkbox in a Google spreadsheet. And that's actually very easy to do. The fact that we're looking to insert something gives us a clue that we want to go into the insert menu in Google Sheets. And then of course I'll choose checkbox and this simply gives me a checkbox that I can toggle on or off. Now notice that in the formula bar I'm seeing the results of what happens when I check or uncheck this checkbox. So when it's unchecked it says false. When it's checked it says true. That gives us an important clue about how to do the next part, which is I'll go back to, it's a carve out of a use case that came up not too long ago. We had uh, a bunch of cost of goods sold items that we needed to use to back into some sales tax numbers for a client because the client had charged his customers without specifically collecting the sales tax. So we had to carve the sales taxes out of what he did collect in order to pay it in. And with that, without getting into too deep into the details, we had a list of these costs of goods sold accounts and the amounts and we had to, I wanted just an easy way to lay out and make it very clear what we were using in the calculation and what we weren't. So you can see that I've got most of these checked off, most of them were used, but obviously transportation costs weren't going to be used and vehicles purchased uh, we weren't using in the sales tax calculation because in those cases the sales taxes were taken care of at the DMV. So, <clears throat> how did we do this? Well, I gave you the first clue. When it's checked, it says true. When it's unchecked, it says false. And you'll see now that if I uncheck any of these, right, it's zeroing them out. And what this did, like I said, was it gave me a really clean layout to show you here are the original amounts, and here are the ones we're actually using in the calculation. So all I needed to do at this point was write a simple if-then formula. Right? So I'm going to clear one of these formulas out and I'm going to rewrite the formula for you. Uh, again, just to recap, we know that when this is checked off, it means it's true. When it's not checked off, it means it's false. And that's the key to how we want to write this formula. We're going to write a simple conditional that says if this is checked off, then use the number that's here. If it's not checked off, then make it zero. Right? So equals if, open parentheses, we're going to click on C2 over here, right? Equals true then comma comma means then what do we do if it's true we take this number in b2 comma what do we do if it's not true we want a zero close parentheses enter 870496 it's true i uncheck it it's not true it gives me a zero this of course can then be copied down to all these other cells and the references update so that any given line is testing the checkbox on its own line and when that is true it's pulling the number that's on its own line. That my friends is a really slick use case for how to use Google checkboxes to give somebody else who's looking at your work paper a really nice visual that makes it super clear which items you chose to use in a calculation and which items you're choosing not to view. As always, I hope you learned something here. I hope you had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.